All right, all right, all right. We're down at Spring Made Pier, and actually, we came over to look at this new resort that's over here. But Double Tree right here, and I've always said this was probably could be one of the best properties on the beach. But I want you to look at what they're doing here at Double Tree. They have got all of this construction going on with this big, massive pool here. And they're actually repainting and redoing the rooms. And this is a, this resort was just refinished about five years ago, I think, five or six years ago. But they are redoing it again. I don't know what the pylons here are for, but that is a pretty big pool. And you've got, I mean, it looks like they're repainting and redoing all the rooms up there also. So this is going to be a really nice when they get this finished up. So we're going to walk out here on the pier at Spring Bait. And then we're going to go over here to the new, I think this is a Holiday, Holiday Inn Vacation, Vacation Club. Club Resort. So uh, we'll check that out and see what it looks like. Right, so we're going to go in the uh, Fishtails General Store here. And here's your prices. Walking pass for the pier is $3. Fishing pass is set or is $12. Bait, shrimp. Was nine dollars squid, mullet, and sand fleas. No public restrooms and no pets allowed. But I didn't realize it. But there is actually a bar right here on the right hand side. It's called the Southern Tide Bar and Grill. And they've got uh, here's their drink menu Southern Tide drinks, $13. A ruminator, make your own mule, lime in the coconut, Carolina sunrise, Mai Tai, skinny margarita, strawberry lemonade, and Bacardi buckets, $19, $17 refill, limit two. Tidal smash, pirate punch, and the southern tide smash. Well, it looks like you have a lot of gear in here. You got rods and uh, probably you have probably rental rods, I would think. I didn't check, but this is a tackle box shop. Here's your bait over here. You got some t-shirts, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Spring Made Pier. But I was talking to uh, the lady that was working in here, and this is, uh, they're going to make this uh, double tree a little fancier. So uh, this whole end of the beach, the south end, is really improving with this. So we'll walk back here and see what they've got back here as far as t-shirts and sweatshirts. Do you like t-shirts? The hoodies are cute? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a... My belly would show in that. I don't think I could wear that, Not honey. Not for you. I just don't think... I mean, that color... I might be able to pull this one off. I just don't think I could pull that one off. That's more my color. Yeah, I like the bucket hats up there. So let's go out. Let's go out here and go out on the pier here. See, you should have brought your new hat. I got you. Yeah. A little windy today. Sun's out. But it's beautiful out. So I guess you got some outdoor seating out here. And this pier was redone and reopened up. I think uh, two years ago. But look at the beautiful beach day out. Got some spring breakers, yeah. Oh, that Yeah. Looks so like it's like to, a U shape. We'll have to go over and see if we can check it out. Now that's Holiday Inn Vacation Club property. It looks like they have like there cabanas, we go. Beach cabanas on the yeah. pool and little splash pad for kids. My only problem with this property would be it's so close to that swash yeah, which is right the there quality. in between it and damon's the water quality is not going to be very good now even got a uh banana boat. banana boat out today look at the banana boat Woo! Oh, getting pulled yeah, around showing you a starfish oh shot. my gosh yeah look at the starfish here oh wow cool thank you sir but yeah it's a there's your nice beach view 
Uh, so here's the uh, south side. Here's the double tree right here. And I was talking to her. They're going to do this building right here first. Then they're moving down. They got the convention center in the center. Then they're moving down to the next building. And we'll walk down and take a good look at that real quick. But I tell you, this is going to be a nice piece of property right here on the south end of Myrtle Beach, right before the state park, and then the campgrounds. This is going to be a really big improvement down here. Damon's looks tiny. Yes, it does look tiny. Yeah, but Damon's looks really small, doesn't it, honey? It looks tiny I mean, now. It's, uh, we ate there a couple years ago, and it wasn't... Uh, it was mediocre. Mediocre at best. The best thing was the view. Yeah, about the only thing was the view. Now, the Crown Reef right beside of it, they've had issues over the years, but I think they've, uh, they're have they on the mend and straightening everything out. But let's walk out here on the pier. nice with the wind dying now now this pier was redone like i said it was open two years ago or open three years ago i like how it goes up and this is a this is a fairly large pier i think it's bigger than surfside's pier definitely i think it's wider yes uh, the whole top is wooden now the surfside pier is concrete with wooden runners in it but they have a lot of fishing stations out up here now this is where we surf right here is uh nash which is right there at the campground you can see the campers there there's the campers now that's the state, state park, park on the right hand side and then myrtle beach state park there Woo, that wind is bad today again and then looking on down into Surfside and Garden City. But a beautiful beach day. I mean, the waves are just rolling in, not very big, not very rough. It is windy. Windy and beat down a little bit. But what a beach day. What a beach day. Here comes another plane in. That would be the, uh, see if I can find it. I can't even find the point. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was right on it. Southwest. That would be the only bad thing about staying down here on this end. Would be the airplanes flying in and out all day long and all night. We've watched um, Blue Angels from here at 4th of July before. 4th of July. But I do, uh, I do like this pier. Now, me and Adrian, we were down here when Hurricane Matthew took this one out. We were at the house and got the uh, got the little call there that the pier was going down, and we came down and watched it go down. And then it made for some really good f pictures with the pylons still up, but. It has been completely redone. I like nice. these here. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Got you a nice picnic table. Take picnic table out here with the umbrella umbrella over top of it. Drawing a blank there for a second. But yeah, this is really nice. You got a lot of people out fishing today. A lot of people fishing. Did your papa come to this one? Papa used to come to all of them. We used to, uh, he would stay up there mainly in the, we stayed mainly in North Myrtle Beach at right. that point in time. Uh, so we stayed up there in that end. So it was the Cherry Grove. We'd come down to Myrtle Beach occasionally. But uh, he would love, he loved coming down here and sitting on the pier and watching the guys fish. He loved doing that. But what a beautiful beach day. It's so clear out right now. 
a little windy, but it's a beautiful day. Yeah, so we made it out here to the very end, and this is the same thing that I wished the Surfside Pier should have done, is get out here at the very end of it and make that big T out here. Give you more, give you more pier and give you more fishing spots out here. But here's a look back to the beach. <laughs> Somebody's lost a flip-flop. <laughs> but there's your pier, or there's your beach view here. Uh, so there's your picture of uh, Myrtle Beach right there. That should be all of Myrtle Beach. I can't see the sky wheel, but it is right there in between that uh, second set of tall buildings up there. I can't see. Can't I can't make it out. Let's see here. But yeah, it's kind of kind of hard to hold the steady here. But we'll pan here and come back out all the way. Jelly over there. But a lot of people are out today on the beach. But uh, yeah, that uh, this has really got me interested here. And there's the new resort. That's a good view of it. That's a real good view of it. And look at that pool setting there in the middle here. So you've got ocean view and pool view all the way around that so i don't know if we'll be able to go in the property or not but we're gonna find out now here's your south very south end right here so nash is right there where we park at and we surf right here but this resort right here that's all double tree all the way down this is where they're building the new pool and redoing the rooms and everything right here. The convention center is that blue building there at the top of it. And then that building right there is another part of the resort, but that's got more green space behind it than anything, I think, in main Myrtle Beach proper, not on the whole Grand Strand, but that's got a lot of green space and this property, yeah, a lot of beachfront. And being right here beside the state park, that if I was to stay here somewhere, that would probably, if they redo those rooms and get really nice pools, that would be where I would want to stay at. Yeah, you got like uh, a I mean, across the Yeah, here. Merle's Inlet's only about 20 minutes away. Broadway's only about 15 minutes away. Market Common and the airport's only five minutes away. And then the uh, Myrtle Beach, the boardwalk is only another 15 to 20 minutes away also. So it's uh, this is very close, close to a lot of stuff here. A lot of good shopping, a lot of good restaurants. I like this right here. They've got the uh, saltwater fish ruler here. You've got the hunting and fishing guides. It's actually, it's got it in Spanish also, it looks like. You got the guide to saltwater fishing. That book's got all the saltwater fish in it. Okay. Beginner's guide to saltwater fish. You got a sticker there, it looks like. You got a exploring South Carolina's outdoors for kids. It's got a coloring book. You got more educational stuff here. Sea science, the jellies. That's pretty neat what they've got here. Okay, so it must be called their Tapestry Boutique Hotels, and this is the Ellie. All right, so we've got an update here. Uh, we've already filmed here, so we're going to walk around a little bit more, but this is actually a Hilton Boutique Hotel, hotel. under the Tapestry label. Tapestry label, and it's going to be named Ellie. Ellie. And down there will be the Double Tree. That will stay a Double mm -hmm. Tree. But, Which is also a Hilton brand. Yes. So all this is all Hilton right here. And this is actually going to be part of the pier. So I think they're going to redo all of this next year. So this is the original. They didn't, uh, out to where it goes up, they didn't really do too much to this part of the pier when they rebuilt this pier. But this is going to be all new next year. 
And but we're going to walk over and check out the Holiday Inn first. Then we're going to head back down towards the other double tree and check it out. And I'll let you know when we're at that property. Now there in the center, that part right there is an indoor pool, and they they've always had that indoor pool, but they're redoing all of it. So look out for this right here this is going to be a really nice property for a hilton boutique tapestry called the ellie so uh look out for this gonna have a lazy uh, lazy river here it looks like or she called it lazy susan inside so uh let's walk over here to the uh holiday and vacation club well check out these new beach chairs right here to rent out they were just dropping these off they had the truck down here had a problem getting out of here with the trailer, but yeah, they've just dropped off all new beach chairs for Zach's beach service. Uh, so I'm impressed already here. Look at this. This looks really pretty. And I like how far back it's pushed off of the uh, ocean or off the beach here. It's on the other side of the dunes here, so you've got a lot of protection here. They can keep keep uh, working on it but yeah this is really this looks really good it's gonna be a really nice fish uh, so i don't know exactly what all we'll be able to see here but we're gonna find out this is uh like i said this is a holiday and vacation club so it's a timeshare uh we'll find out what we can see here doesn't hurt to try does it uh, so, uh, yeah, this is uh, not the pool area, but this is an outdoor seating area here. Really nice. Look at this. Uh, so, uh, they got a little uh, little market down here, Brewer's Market here, it looks like. But she said the, uh, she, uh, I don't know if this was it right here or not, but here is the pool bar here. Wow. Check out this pool bar. Check out this pool. Wow, this is nice. Very pretty. So, wow, this is so pretty in here. Check this out. I love that color on that bar. Honey, we're going to have to have us a drink. Yeah. But check out this tile on the wall here. This nice seating out here. I love these up here. These little light fixtures up here. They were really cool looking. Those look really good. Glass fireplace. Yeah, this is really nice. Wow. So, like I said, we're just going to explore a little bit. We'll go out here and have us a drink at the bar here real quick here in a little bit. Uh, so, this is really nice seating area out here. We're going to have us a drink at the bar here. But pool, gosh, pool looks really good, really good. Yeah. All right. So the bar is called the Back Porch, and their specialty drinks are the Uptown Mary, which is a bloody Bloody Mary with Old Bay rim garnished with a spicy Jack Link stir, gherkin pickles on a stick, and a crazy straw. The Shriner is blueberry-infused Old Smoky Moonshine and Cranberry topped with blackberries and blueberries. Grandpa's beach sweet tea. Mm -hmm. The Doctor's Order has vodka infused with rosemary, mint, and ginger, sweetened and topped with a club soda. Don't Eat the Flowers has Kettle One Grapefruit and Rose Vodka with elderflower liquor and a splash of champagne topped with a dehydrated grapefruit slice. Proof is in the Peaches has a classic Sex on the Beach cocktail, which is vodka, peach schnapps, orange, and cranberry juice, topped with cherries and moonshine soaked peaches. Bomb Pop is a frozen drink, frozen fresca and vodka with a bomb pop inserted into it. Blue Sky with a chance of clouds is a frozen Sprite Sky Vodka Blue Curacao topped with a disappearing cotton candy garnish and peachy tea or grandpa's peachy tea it's peach infused old smoky moonshine freshly brewed sweet tea and lemonade garnished with a lemon wedge and moonshine soaked peaches uh, so this uh, grandpa's 
sweet peachy tea right here is actually pretty good and I, it will sneak up on you i believe i only had a couple of sips out of it but you can't even tell you're drinking any alcohol here and i like this one here a lot better than, than gina's my... and gina what did you get um i got the church lady lemonade okay Wow. That has the Prosecco, which is like a champagne or a sparkling wine, and the Limoncello. Yeah, so I do like my... Uh, I'm going to stay with the Grandpa here. And I'm going to keep Gina away from it. And Lemon and Sorbet. Uh, so here's your menu. You've got uh, the Cher Y'all appetizers. And, uh, I guess that's Arts... Beer, belly onion rings, super grouper tenders, black porch pretzel, mason dipsy line, Carmen's carnitas, you got some wings, you got real catch, you got a box of puppies, basket of mini corn dogs, high tide cheese fries, and then for your main event, you have a, a wide net, smash and grab burger, BLGT. That's a bacon, lettuce, and green tomato sandwich. Sounds really good. A cue it up pork sandwich, firecracker shrimp tacos, it's in the bag tacos, flew the coop, love me tender, and riptide quesadilla. Let's see now you have walk the line, walk the thin line salads, ahi tuna and mango summer salad. That sounds good. Pie in the sky pizza. The kids got to eat menu. Sweet things. Desserts. Love you to the moon pie. Southern Bell shortcake. Cinnamon sugar churros. Ice cream cookie sandwich. Assorted pastries. Bagels. Breakfast sandwiches. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty breakfast. good. All day breakfast, huh? All day Pep coffee in your and step. tea. Pep in your step. All day coffee and teas. Sounds really good. Uh, so I like the way they've uh, stepped this pool down. You've got an 8-inch enter here, and you've got these nice little decking chairs that you can set the pool in, and it goes down to uh, 3 feet. And then I see 4 feet down on the very bottom with a hot tub over there. There's two hot tubs. But, yeah, this is really nice. I love the way they've just stepped this pool down, and the ocean view is great. Look at that ocean view. So when you're coming off the beach here, you can wash your feet off and get cleaned up before you go up to the resort. But what a beautiful beach day. We're going to walk down now to where the uh, double tree is. All right, so uh, downside here to this property would definitely be the helicopters flying over. We sat up there and had a drink at the bar, and I think there were four helicopters flew over while we were sitting up there uh, heading over towards the airport. So you in the direct flight. Okay, here comes flight one path. now. Well, and here comes one tours. now. So, yeah, they got the tours. Uh -huh. I mean, it's the helicopter tours here coming in. So we've got one coming in right now. Let's see here if I'm... I mean, he is like right over top of yeah, us. Yeah, he's turning. He's getting ready to. So, I can't see him yet, but he's right here. Right and between the properties. He's flying right there, so you're going to hear that all day long on this property. Uh, so now we're back at the uh, Double Tree here, and I forget the name of the restaurant here. That this is going to be, I think, orange, something blue, blue, blue something. But uh, there is the uh, boutique Ella, and then this is the Double Tree here. This is the convention center, and there's the restaurant upstairs there, which is the blue something. Well, and then uh, where they kind of separated little areas, they're probably going to have cabanas like there, cabana type setup with those dividers. Yeah. But this is the uh, this is the double tree. We'll walk down this path here. Like I said, this could be a really, really good property. Looks like they're trying to. Well, they're make trying. It. They're trying. They're trying. That's for sure. But I'll just show you this green space they have over here. But redoing this pool here. Then there's another pool over here on the left side. 
We'll check it out. Now this is how much of that green space I was talking about. Look at the space that they have here for future development or future pools, future entertainment. With that future. pool there, they're redoing there. Then you have this pool up here and it's the same thing. They've got an indoor pool there. But this space right here is just huge. If they could actually, uh, they could actually go and do something with it. Bocce we got you. Yeah, I was gonna say you got your bocce courts there. But yeah, this could be a really nice property. Ah, so here's the. Uh, they got a little small pool here, an indoor pool. Then you have your little lazy river here. But look at all this property they have out back out here. This is just crazy how much property they have. It extends all the way over to the restaurant here. Ocean Blue. Okay, that's the name of it. All right, so uh, we're going to head to the house. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side. Stay frosty. And remember, Myrtle Beach is calling your name.